curious people. So I'm back. I've been given a Henry Hoover to take apart. Um, it's absolutely freezing today. So I have got about 10 layers on and yeah, I'm, I'm super cold. So I'm hoping this isn't gonna be a really long one. Um, so basically, if you want to, if you don't want to watch me taking that apart and you just want to know how much copper's inside of Henry, then fast forward to the end and you will have your answer. But for those of you like me who love watching taking things apart, um, things being taken apart, then you can watch to see. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to get this cord out snip that off that'll take a nice bit of weight out of the okay so I'll snip it here I'll be able to get a bit more from the inner workings as well so we've got that's the cord complete with plug I think that probably that's not the original plug that might be a replacement um I don't know that for sure. So, uh, these are heavy. So obviously I need to get into this. So, there's the little Henry head. Um, you might be able to see a little bit of my reflection in there. Yes, I am wearing cat earmuffs. <laughs> <laughs> because it's cold <laughs> and it's all I had available <laughs> but obviously I did purchase them they are mine <laughs> okay so first time this year you can actually see your breath um, so yeah what a chilly chilly but sunny day so that's not a magnetic screwdriver so uh, Pulling it out for me. I've actually got a little bit one in here. No, I'm just going to have to unscrew them and then tip it over to hope they all just fall out. It's quite a deep cavity. That's why I can't use my um, electronic set because it's just uh, it's deep and narrow, so you can't get the extender down there even. It's a nice thing to be able to do on a Saturday. You know, I said the other day, I'm running out of things to take apart. Well, I had run out of things to take apart until my friend gave me this. So, I'm very happy about that. While I'm under here, I will just... Um, take these screws out as well because they're obviously going to have to come out at some point I may as well do it now it's slightly smaller I think let's just see oh no it's in oh gosh they're tighter too okay. I'll just stand up to get in there probably this just keeps rolling around all over the place because it's um it's a rounded top Hmm, I wonder if... Where's my other favourite one? Yeah, there. I think this one might be better. Let's see. Gosh, they're so tightly wound in there, I can hardly... twist them out. So yeah, it's a funny day. It's very, very cold. But... The sun is shining at least. Gosh. Don't know why they're done up so tight. Ooh. I can't actually undo those. 
Right, well, let's see where we got with undoing this bit. Okay. Yeah, that's not the bit I need. I do need to do those ones. So this, I think, is just... Yeah, nothing. The plastic. Bye-bye, Henry. So I do really... This is the business end. This is where I really do need to get into. Uh, yeah. Okay, just got to try harder. Should be careful what I wish for. It'll be a shorter video than I thought if I can't get these ones undone. Oh, I just can't get the... Uh... Oh, this one's coming. It's coming, it's coming. Okay, I think that's done. Right, so, come on then. I kept thinking it wasn't doing anything, but actually it is. I know I've stood back up. <laughs> Hopefully the angle's not too dodgy for you. It's just hard to get the right kind of leverage sitting down especially with it wobbling all over the place that's done all right one more henry's been around so long like everybody remembers the henry hoover and actually they they last for a long time so you know that there's some really good engineering in here uh, i mean this one I know my friend would have, it would have been her trusted vacuum for a long time. Um, and her dad tried to repair it, but it was beyond repair. So it's come my way. Right. Now I wonder if it's clipped also or whether sealed it's this isn't it it's this unit that needs to come up that's it it's coming there we go yay more horrible black plastic Oh wow. I think one of the children <laughs> must have lost a pen lid at some point. Okay, so what have we got going on here? More black plastic. Some rubber. Bit of sponge, sort of probably extra. Okay, so you can hear lots of uh, noise. It's the football footballers out in the field behind the house. Okay, I think I've got the depth right, but. Because of that, it's actually I'm finding it a bit hard to turn. Okay, I've run it through. Um, didn't quite get the fine line right because it's a tad too deep now it's gone into these ones and I don't like doing that but um, it is what it is so now we've got the casing I've made a bit of a hash of this because I've gone through so it took me a couple of attempts to get the depth right 
it's got like a double double tear line there we go quite often once you finally get it started it's then pretty easy to get out of that casing I'm just using these pliers because I've got that double line where I didn't quite do it deep enough the first time oh dear there's another teeny bit here that is Like this here, totally split off into a separate piece. This is not where I want it. I want the cutting line on this line. Sort of moved to the old one that wasn't quite deep enough. There we go, that's it. But I still love this machine, it was a, still a great present and this is still a way quicker than what it would be doing it, you know, like the Stanley or what have you. So, can't complain. I know I don't make it look as easy as what it could do. <laughs> I am well aware of that. It's uh, to someone who knows what they're doing, it's probably quite cringeworthy even, but uh, you know. It's a fun hobby for me. I enjoy doing this. I love doing the challenge that I'm doing. And it's, uh, it's exciting for me to do so. So when you run it through once at the right depth, it's then really super, you've seen, well maybe you might have seen in my other videos, videos it's really easy to pull through because you're just going down one line. I'm having this trouble because I've kind of got half a line and another line. So it's not always going down the deep line. We're getting there. We are certainly getting there. We've got um, some other wire to do today, but what is it? It's that cold out here. Although I have just learned that my workbench pieces did in fact arrive the other day. So um, it is actually there waiting to be put together. So hopefully... I won't have too many more sessions like this out here now the weather's turned. <sighs> Look, the end is so close. There we go. Yay! All right, horrible black casing can do one. Let's put these little bits here. And then what you've got, is these tiny little these are usually a dream to put through so I will cut them only because it takes ages to separate two really long entwined pieces so I mean if you want to take the time to do that you can but it is nice to have them in one solid piece to see what you get I, I do totally understand that but uh, just for convenience, really, I'm going to cut them into pieces. And do it that way. Now this Henry, at least I know this one wouldn't have gone into landfill because the person who gave it to me is a nice, responsible, lovely person who cares about the planet. So I'm not necessarily saving this from landfill, but I am gonna 
get the benefit of the copper in it instead of the recycle center so yay for me there we are then okay this might have to go a tad let's just see on this piece how because these really are tiny i think that's about right we'll do one so you can see how easy it is running these through and again this is the smaller the smaller bits that take the most time actually because they're a lot harder to do by hand the big ones you can kind of create like a a split and then use its own strength against it to pull it down but that's not really the case with these tiny ones it takes forever to do that and I think what I've got going on here is that was from the original where I cut too deep in the thing and hopefully now I can just get the copper out yep it's messy it's messy because I cut it too deep uh, which is why I do hate doing that because I don't like the sharp little spindly bits of copper but once that's melting into an ingot that doesn't matter does it it's just for my own uh, sake actually I'm just gonna go and get a new tub or should I no I'm gonna get my other new tub okay Look at the copper I get today in this one tubs everywhere run these through quickly and easily now let me just double check this bit that the other one didn't come out so easy because it was cut deep from before no this is no okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run them all through and then I'm gonna pull the copper out it's just easier to just do it in some sort of order rather than the stop start stop start okay yes so i have to sort my shed out with some electricity so I can get some heating in there put the bench together that my rather generous dad has made but it's um, it's in pieces it now needs to be put together and of course what always happens when you have a space in a shed it gets filled so I just need to organise the shed again it was ready but yeah I filled it up it's not too bad. There's just a few items, shall we say, that need moving. Okay, I'll come back to you when I've oh wrong hole. When I've uh, put all these through. I doubt you want to. They're all pretty much the same. Nothing new going on here. Okay, so I have stripped out all of the um, cable. I'm just going to weigh it now just to see what we get here. Uh, I need that on grams. So I'll just put, put that on. Turn it off. And zero that. Okay, let's see. Oh, so it's come out at 116 grams. And now the motor. I think it'll be too heavy, but we'll see. Okay, 2011 grams.
Okay guys, so that is what is inside a Henry Hoover. That's how much copper there is. Hope you enjoyed watching. Stay safe. See you in the next one. Bye.